again, Kendopolis. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm back with another Scribble Knots Unlimited object editor commentary. Look at all of these creations that we've done from Bendy and the Ink Machine stuff. We got Sammy Lawrence, Bendy, Dead Boris, and just alive Boris, I guess, from Chapter 2. But, you know, there's something that has been uh, requested so much, and it's a little bit, mm, I guess I, I was a little hesitant to, to create it, but I thought, you know, uh, everybody's asking for Alice Angel, basically, of course, from Chapter 2. We first learned about her in Bendy and the Ink Machine, Chapter 2. And so the only visuals we have of Alice Angel thus far that is official, I'm talking about official stuff, not fan art that somebody drew. So official images at the time of this recording, which is Friday, May 18th, that I'm recording this, Alice Angel is just on a poster. And so we're actually going to create that poster. Now, we're not going to be able to add every single last detail that the poster has, but we're going to create Alice on the poster. It'll make sense once. I'm done kind of creating all of this, I think. Uh, we got Emily Halpin right now for the head. It's mainly going to be for the hair of Alice Angel right here. And I put metal down over the poster. So the poster is the source object, but it has all of this design on it and stuff like that. So we wanted to cover it up with something else. And, you know, paper has too many curves in it. There's a lot of other stamps that you can use. So metal is by no means the only one that would be appropriate, I guess, for a poster right here. But I like it. And and so we put down the body of an alien, if you just take that torso of the alien, basically, and that's going to be for the main part of the head. So it goes over Emily Halpin's head to be the face and everything like that, with Emily Halpin's hair being the hair back there. We just did a halo for the halo. You know, normally I would love to go more detailed with that, but I know stamp space is going to be really hard to uh, work with in this episode. A great white shark, the top dorsal fin, basically, is going to be for these horns right here, uh, top Alice's head. And so... So again, yes, stamp space, you know, this game, Scribble Knots Unlimited, although it is called Unlimited, it does have a limited amount of stamp space. A stamp is anything like this dart fish top fin that we're going to be using for the eyebrows right now, but also like that halo that we typed in, the alien body, any of that stuff, each one of those is a stamp and you have a limited amount. Sad but true. Although I kind of like it, it's like in some respects, I just, the only thing I don't like about it is that people think like, oh, you forgot something if I had to leave it off of my creation for stamp space. Otherwise, I like that, you know, you're kind of met with this challenge in Scribble Knots Unlimited to find the best stamp that can convey the most amount of things. You know, it's like uh, work around kind of this challenge to create. Hemispheres, we did that twice for the top of the eyes. They're like these little Pac-Man eyes, very similar to Bendy's eyes. And so with that, I also did a black mamba, just like when I created Bendy. And uh, the black mamba's back tail piece will be for the bottom part of the eyes. The side fin of a nursery fish right here is what we've got next. And that'll be for her little nose. And we're going to put that pretty close to the eye that's to our right. I'm going to go with a wart. It's not actually actually a wart, but a beauty mark. We're just going to use the wart as that stamp. So no, I don't mean for that to be a wart. I mean for it to be Alice's beauty mark there on her cheek. So that's, of course, to our left side. And we're going to go with lips for the lips. Again, I would love to do all these kinds of things more detailed, but we're really going to be pushing that stamp limit in this creation. I know we are. I just know it. And so I've got the lips for the lips right there. And so it's coming together right now. Although uh, one thing that I am worried about is just the more stuff I place on, the more you you have to kind of hope that you're like comfortable where you're placing it because it would be really painful to have to move all of this up or in a different place. And so now I'll go with the troglodyte and take the back arm of that. There's also a 29 page library uh, arm shape that's the equivalent of this. But you know, if you're in Scribble Knots Unmasked, you're going to need to type that in. So troglodyte, that works. Take that back arm. It's going to be for the neck of Alice Angel. And we got a tube top coming up next. And the tube top will just be for the top of basically where her shoulders are and a little bit on her neckline. And so that's pretty good. I'm just kind of adjusting some things. And again, this is going to be very complicated as we keep adding things is like, oh, where should everything go? And so now I've got a hemisphere once again, and uh, I'm going to put that down below the tube top. It's going to go a little bit over it, though, and a cocoon. And so the cocoon and the uh, hemisphere there are going to comprise her body, basically the main, uh, just her torso all around. And I'm going to go with the letter I. One thing I'm kind of realizing, yeah, as I'm placing this, I, I realize we need to 
to actually lift up this metal that we use for the main part of the poster and now move every single thing up. And the reason is because I wanted to include that kind of blank space below her body right there. Uh, well, it's not blank actually on the poster. On the poster, it actually has the title, you know, where it says sent from above, it has that thing. So uh, we're actually gonna leave that space open right now. And uh, that the other reason that I wanted that was, uh, you know, having that letter I there, it looks like blank space right now, but it's actually because that cocoon is not the exact stamp for her body all by itself. But when you block off the bottom of the cocoon with that letter I, then it looks a little bit more appropriate. It looks like it uh, could work like that. And so we did a baboon. The back end tail piece of that baboon was going to be for her shoulder. That's the arm on our left side. It's her right arm. And we used a letter I for the clothing right there. So, you know, it's like part of her skin is showing right there. And so the arm is basically divided up uh, between those two stamps. And I used a kraken. So, of course, there's kind of this tentacle piece from the kraken. It's like not the very end tentacle piece. You could grab any of those tentacles, but the one right next to that little tiny end triangle piece, it's this kind of curved in three parts tentacle. And so here we're going to hit the stamp limit. You can see it says stamp limit has been reached after we put down that receiver glove and then typed in a bow tie. Again, that's another thing I would love to make uh, detailed in a different way, like have some more detail to it, I guess. Basically, kind of like how I created my demon ink bendy, that bow tie it would probably be very similar. So if you are looking for another design for the bow tie, of course, remember that stamp space. We don't really need to go too crazy with the properties editor here, but I'll just say as a reminder, you know, so far we don't, at the time of this recording, we don't have a full body rendered image of Alice from Bendy and the Ink Machine. So that's why we just created the poster. But I do think it's kind of unique, you know, it's like uh, we're always creating humans and humanoid type characters and creatures and stuff. And so here creating sort of an inanimate object is kind of fun. Now, of course, you can see all of the creations here. We can go ahead and add the poster into the mix. Looks good joining the Bendy family that we're creating here in Scribblenauts Unlimited. Surely there will be more Bendy and the Ink Machine creations as other chapters come out. And uh, here's the poster all by itself. But you know, something that I thought might be fun is to take our Scribblenauts poster and then take the image of the real poster from the game and just sort of merge the two. So I, I went into Photoshop basically and I grabbed all the little text pieces and like the moon that is there, the little stars, all those ink splotches and things. So you can see I also added the title and the whole bendy in thing. And so we basically crossed over our Scribblenauts poster with the real poster. I hope that you guys think that that's epic. I thought it looked kind of cool. So there you can also see it in comparison with the real one altogether. But yes, if you haven't seen uh, the Boris in Move or Die, that was a highly requested mod for me to create a character mod in Move or Die. So that was uploaded on Friday. Feel free to go back and check that video out here on my channel. Otherwise, remember that I live stream on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash drkendo. Twitch.tv slash drkendo. I live stream over there every single Monday. So you can see some good other content if you would like to. Just non-scribble knots, non-move or die. If you want updates to that as well as behind the scenes things, I also have a Twitter page, Instagram, and Facebook. All for Dr. Kendo commentaries. Links as always are in the description to those. And I will catch you guys on the next vid and thanks for viewing.